Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Contour's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I would like to say a very warm welcome to you. Today, I'm sharing with you how to make lemongrass chicken. Mm -hmm. So we are making homemade takeout. Restaurant style meal prepared in the comfort of your home and enjoyed and obviously at a price you simply cannot beat. This is going to be good and I hope you try it. And kindly share this video with your friends and loved ones so they can also enjoy this goodness. So these are lemongrass plants and I found these in an Asian supermarket and I decided to video it for you just in case you want to make the recipe so you know what to find. And this is my chicken thighs. The recipe calls for chicken thighs. And so I'm taking off the skin, then I'll debone it and cut it up. You could buy it already with the skin off and deboned, but it's so expensive. So as frugal or stingy as I want to be, I will do it myself. So this is how you do it. I've already removed the skin and now I'm going to just cut around the bone to get it out. So you see, not so hard to do. So why should I pay for it? And so I'm going to cut this up now. The bigger ones, some I end up cutting into six pieces, some I cut up into four. The most important thing is you cut them into um, bite sizes, you know, presentable, beautiful. And then I'm going to continue doing this until I'm done with all my chicken. And I pre-wash this so when I'm done cutting them up, I don't have to wash them again because you don't want it to have any water, as much moisture off it as you, you can get off because you're going to fry the chicken. So trim off the fat and cut up. So here are the ingredients you will need for this amazing recipe. I have my chicken thighs, some cornstarch, a little bit of sugar, some fish sauce, coconut water, peppers, these are chilies, fresh ginger, lemongrass, and I'm using that for my garden. I have some garlic and shallots, a cucumber, some fresh coriander, also known as cilantro, some cooking oil, and that's all you need for this amazing recipe. All right, so let's get cooking. So to start, I poured my fish sauce into a bowl, added some sugar. I know we normally don't like sugar, Africans in our meats, but you just need this little amount of sugar to give you that perfect effect on your chicken. And I also added my cornstarch and I've mixed them all up now and I'm going to add my chicken, which I already told you I've already cleaned. It's washed and it's dry and I added it in now and I'm just going to mix it up to marinate. But I also like to put some fresh ginger in here. The recipe, there was no recipe that I found that called for ginger, but I love fresh ginger on my meat. So this is actually my garlic mincer, but I'm going to use that. I love to use that for my ginger as well. Or you could grate or chop it up if you want to add ginger to it. So I have my ginger in here now and I'm going to mix it up now. So with the fish sauce, I really, really reduce my fish uh, sauce than what most recipes will call for because I have made this like this is the fourth time I'm making this. It turned out delicious the first time, but it was so salty. So every time I made it, I tried to reduce the salt until I got it perfect. So what you have here for me, somebody who doesn't like salty food, it's perfect. So here is my lemongrass. And I took some of the skins off because those ones are a little bit more of uh, woody in nature and you want the soft innermost part to make this recipe. And now I am chopping it. You want to chop it as finely as you can. And so I run my knife through again just to make sure it is fine. And now I am going to transfer onto my chicken. 
and so I am going to mix it up and let it marinate and whilst it marinate I will prepare the rest of my ingredients So I start off by chopping my chilies and I'm using more chilies than the recipe calls for because yes, I'm your typical African. I have to have a little bit of heat, especially for a stir fry. You know, I wanted it to have the heat and it turned out good. You could reduce your peppers. This one is not as hot as the one that I just did, but together they brought so much you know heat and aroma flavor into the meal and so just like I did with the uh, lemongrass I want this to be as fine as I can have it so here we are I think it's good at this point and my garlic I don't really plan to um, really mince it so you want to chop it so I'm roughly chopping it and if you don't like to bite into your garlic you could make it you could you could chop it a little finer but for me this is perfect we love garlic and now these are my shallots you could use onions if you don't have shallots, but I love shallots and I have them available, so I'm using that. And that I'm just going to chop this way so I will have something to bite on. So this stir fry pan is already very hot. I made sure it was very hot and I poured in some olive oil. You could use any of oil of choice, whatever you like. And now... I added my chicken so I put some peppers in here to marinate with the chicken as well that step I forgot to show you and now you are going to cook the chicken you're making sure it gets a good sear on it so you want to spread out your chicken so that it can settle beautifully in your pan and get that beautiful golden sear so I let this cook on high heat you know stir fries call for high heat so this was on high heat for about four minutes without me messing with it and now i am trying to turn them just there so that the parts that are already seared will come on top and then the other side of the chicken will get a chance to cook and crisp crisp up as well is this beautiful i think it is and so now I think it's a good enough time I allowed the other side to cook for about three more minutes and so it is almost like fried and I am trying to move it around stirring but not stirring too much because I still want the temperature in this to retain and now I think it's perfect enough so I've added my garlic and shallots and these are also going to cook with the chicken until it's soft and I would say almost golden and it smells so good here this is so good the taste I'm telling you I've made it four times already since I discovered this recipe so you should know it's good and I really hope you give it a try and if you can find lemongrass you could just make this without it I think and it will still give you good results so good with your rice you will really love it I know you will all right so just look at this it's cooking beautifully i'm trying to not be stirring constantly so it can get a chance to even brown up some more and mm, i just can't wait and i'm boiling my rice on the side as i do this and now it has um crisped up some more my onions and garlic are golden like i said and i'm pouring some coconut water so I was waiting for my husband to bring me this fresh coconut and he brought it. So instead of regular coconut juice that I was going to use, I'm using straight from the coconut itself, the water. And it made this even better because it had some good sweetness that was not, you no know, artificial sweetness in it. And this was good. So I'm just going to let this be just like that. Look at how beautifully it's bubbling. And then so it bubbled and simmered down. 
which is almost there at this point. And that took about another four to five minutes. And so that helps together with the cornstarch gives you some creaminess to the sauce, you know, the little sauce around your chicken. And that is what you're going to eat your rice with. So it's not just like meat. So good. So we have a beautiful reduction to our coconut water and it has left us with this golden, a little bit of sticky sauce on our chicken. And it's so good. Our lemongrass chicken at this point is ready. So simple, so good. And I have my rice, boiled rice, white rice to go with this. And that is all we have in for dinner. Simple, quick, a real 30 minute meal. You can beat this. This is what I call homemade takeout. Yes, takeout food or restaurant style food made and enjoyed in the comfort of your home. You simply cannot beat this. And this pairs so well with sliced cucumbers and cilantro or your coriander. And if you love cilantro like I do, this is even going to be a plus for you. You will simply love, love this meal. So delicious. I really hope you give this a try. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.